Okay, so here we are again. Um, so what you're going to need is one cup of oats. They could be quick oats, old-fashioned oats, um, but one cup of oats. You're gonna need water and one and a half cup of water that you're going to use with the oats. And then you're gonna just put them on a pot, in a pot and you're gonna allow it to boil. Once it boils, you are going to put in a one and a half cup of milk. It could be any kind of milk that you want. Um, I am lactose intolerant, so I cannot use regular milk. So this is, I put in one and a half cup of coconut milk. And then you are going to put in the orange zest of one lovely orange. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I have grated using a box cutter um, the skin in order to get this flaky uh, zest. If you do not have a box cutter, it's not a problem. Um, you can just slice the skin and chop it really fine okay, to sprinkle it into your oatmeal. The other thing. Um, obviously you have these like delicious um, oranges now so feel free to eat them you could also make um, freshly squeezed orange juice um, or you could actually squeeze one half into the mixture I didn't do that but you can if you want um, and if you do that I will caution you to use um, uh, like half of I use one tablespoon of maple syrup um, but I would use about half of that, or, or just even a, a little bit, um, not as much because the orange juice already has, you know, sweetener. If you don't have maple syrup, you can also use brown sugar or any kind of sweetener, uh, regular sugar. So, come on over here, and you can see, I was just mixing it, is... The finale this is what your oatmeal should look like and I also added some cinnamon about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and then I have here a delicious bowl of the oatmeal and I found like you can also add whatever you want right bananas nuts but I found these pumpkin seeds that I'm going to put on here and I remember a couple of years ago, um, I was working with um, Narinder Nan, who is now um, actually where I live in Hamilton, Ward 3 um, counselor, city counselor. Um, she's also a holistic nutritionist. And she told us about um, the benefits of pumpkin seeds, especially for um, youth. And um, it actually, I remember her saying something about um, the fact that it prevents or helps um, uh, with um, acne or anything like that. So really good for the skin. <laughs> so I wanted to add in that. Um, so thank you so much. Um, I hope that you make it. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's nourishing and soothing. And I also uh, would love to invite you to maybe share um, uh, maybe a, a breakfast item or you know any other kind of uh, food or really simple recipe that you like maybe you can even do a little video um, to share with us you know and share with other um, participants in Cooking Up Justice and if you're new to Cooking Up Justice um, welcome um, if you uh, want to share a recipe that um, you're working on or you'd like to share um, to other youth that would be awesome um, but please take care um, be creative um, if you want or just rest um, do what really nourishes you and uh, maybe the next time uh, it could be live <laughs> and we can do a little check-in and see you know how you're doing and what you're spending your time um, doing or have you watched all the movies that you wanted have you you know, what's the video game situation going on? I don't know. I'm not a video game player, but um, anyway, yeah, all is good. Uh, 
take good care and thank you.